Hey everyone, it's Jen. It's been a while since I've done a layout share, and so I um, just wanted to update you guys on what I've been up to. Um, I haven't been crafting a lot. Like usually, I'm in the craft room like every day during um, nap time or at night. But I don't know. This summer, I've just been you know, kind of taking a break and relaxing, not really watching a lot of YouTube, and um, I haven't really been crafting a lot, but when I do go into the craft room, I, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's taking me longer now, like usually it would probably take me an hour to do a layout, and this, I think, probably took me like two days. Um, at night time and during nap time, but usually I'm like working out and like going to the pool and um, I don't know. I'm just not really Watching Big Brother, you know, so I'm just not really in the scrap room a lot. But anyway, so I used this background paper is um, Poolside Right Crepe paper poolside I think and then this paper is side as well and then I just used a whole bunch of tags I used simple stories summer vibes I used um, citrus bliss stuff I think in here I just used a random oh this just a random mixed assortment of um, embellishments this these little puffy stickers are from it's this Pebbles um, Puffy Phrase stickers. It's like their summer stuff. And then I have like um, I've been using a lot of like the Simple Stories um, chipboard stickers and the chipboard sheets of Poolside and stuff like that. And Simple Stories um, Summer Vibes. I think I mentioned that. So that's one layout. Um, here is another one. This was done with Citrus Bliss and Poolside as well. Um, let's see. Oh, my kids were having, um, we don't really have a lot of popsicles. I don't really give them a lot of popsicles. And when I do, um, of course, we had to get the Frozen themed popsicles. And she, it's funny because she was actually wearing her Olaf t-shirt at the time. And... I believe this is from the Pier collection, Pier side or whatever, the Pier crate paper. Um, this is Citrus Bliss. This is Poolside, Poolside. Um, I kind of used this embellishment. I kind of um, scrap lifted that embellishment cluster, like how she, uh, from Erit, for the three popsicles. I like how she did that. And then um, I just did a little banner here. I sewed it. And then I just did some journaling, and then I just did an embellishment cluster up here. Um, this is like super dimensional. It's from the poolside thing. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, all my layouts, I feel like, I don't know. And then I did this one, Life is Beachy. I used the Amy Tan um, stickers. And then I just used some simple stories, embellishments, and you know, they're all just the same chipboard stuff. You know, it's all just a mix. This is uh, Bethany Beach. And then I put, um, this is actually Pink Paisley from last year, I believe, last summer. Um, and this paper is Citrus Bliss. And then this is Poolside. No, I think it's Oh Darling, Crate Paper Oh Darling, but they all match anyway, so, you know, and I think, I believe the background papers, oh yeah, the background papers that I used to mat this is all um, Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap 6x6 six six papers. Um, okay, so these next two layouts are kind of like, they match together to go like this, you know, next to each other. Um, so this is Citrus Bliss, and um, my kids love going to my father-in-law's farm, and then they they let us pick a lot of their stuff from their garden. They have, um, 
they grow a lot of their produce and a lot of their food. So I did a lot of mixed media with this. Like I did the chicken wire in the background and then I did the chicken wire vellum because they have animals and they love to feed the animals like the bantam chickens and the roosters and um, you know, all that stuff. And um, so I had to put the chicken wire in there and then I just sewed all around with this um, gold thread. And this title is totally not straight. It totally bugs me. Um, I put two pairs here because my title is Perfect Pair. And um, I just embossed these wooden wood veneer. I don't know what line this is from, but it came with like a whole bunch of fruits and like um, farmer's market type embellishments and it was all wood veneer so I just used that and this is a Martha Stewart punch and yeah so I just tore some papers at the bottom this is all citrus bliss and then I yeah that's that I used some gold Heidi Heidi um Heidi swap stuff and then this next one that goes along with it is um a photo of my daughter and my father-in-law walking towards the barn this was during the first harvest and I thought that was such a cute picture. I love that picture. And um, this is a photo of all of the food that we, most of the food that we picked. And then this is um, the wood veneer that came in that pack um, that I was mentioning before. And I can't remember what it's from. See, it came with like a watermelon and um, this like little lemon slice there. And then I just used some citrus papers. And then I thought this was really cute. I put some um, burlap. I layered some burlap in the background because they're both wearing straw hats. So I thought that fit like perfectly. It's really nice. It totally matches with uh, the photos. And um, I just really like that burlap touch. I really like this um, layout because I really like this tag from the Citrus Bliss embellishment kit and then here is my last layout this is done with citru this paper citrus bliss, bliss and then this background paper this black and white number paper is from Amy Tan from like a long time ago and then I just used some blue Dina Wakely paint and then use some um, pinkish like cool pink pinkish purple uh, pink paint splatters because this photo kind of like the inspiration of this layout is kind of like from drawn from the photo where she was like being splashed with water so I just did a ton of splashing of the paints and then um, um, obviously the colors play off of the water and her little flotation device and then I put splash zone and then I took a whole bunch of the simple stories clear white stickers and then I just um, kind of did it in like a line going down to the side and then I have a little freckle fun um, cloud clip there, paper clip, and then I channeled um, a little bit of Missy Wood in there, and I did a little circle of um, messy thread. And this flare is from Freckled Fun. I just wanted to balance out the black, and then the background papers is Amy Tan, and then these little wood veneer that I colored with gelatos. These are from Citrus Bliss, I believe, and I really like how this one turned out. So that's what I've been also, oh, I also wanted to show you guys, I have been on this like sewing adventure kind of kick. Um, I made two quilts and I made a house pillow. Actually, let me go get the house pillow. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, so this is the house pillow that I made, you guys. Um, I made two baby quilts, like kind of like qu crib quilts. They fit um, a crib and um, that was a lot of fun. And you guys know how much I love houses. So I, you know, I saw this, I saw like, you know, little houses, pillow houses like this before. And I was like, you know what? I could totally try to make one of these. So I did, I just used, um, some pom-pom trim up here and then I got like a whole bunch of different um, pattern fabrics and then I made the door here and then I use this trim it's like a flower so it looks like flower trim at the bottom 
thought that was really cool. And then on the back, I have this really pretty, pa I love this pattern right here. And then I use this coral pattern up here at the top. So yeah, it's a little house and I love houses. So I thought that pillow was super cute. And then you guys, I made, I've always wanted one. It is a cactus pin cushion for all of my quilting pins. Um, so I just took a whole bunch of felt and um, I made this all by myself. They actually have, I looked for like tutorials online and all of the tutorials are actually in different languages like French and Spanish and stuff like that. So I basically just I mean, I went off of the pictures, but I just basically figured out how to do it all by myself. And um, I love how, I don't know, I just really like how it turned out. And I was gonna put it in a, you know, clay pot, but I already had this pot, so I thought, you know, why buy another one if you already have this? And it's perfect, and um, I don't know. Like I was, t I'm totally like self-taught. I've never had any sewing classes before. Um, like the only sewing experience that I've had was um, when I went to boarding school in Switzerland, they would give us these um, fabric sheets of numbers and you would basically have to, any piece of clothing that you would want back from the laundry service, you would need to have um, your number sewn onto that article of clothing, like all of your socks, every single one of your socks, your pillowcases, if you brought your own, I mean, they, they have their own sheets there, but um, they aren't the softest. So if you want to bring your own sheets, you know, to feel more at home, you could do that. But if you want to wash them, obviously, and you want the back, you would need to sew your own numbers on there. So I would, that's the only hand sewing experience that I had like when I was in high school or before I went to high school we would I would go to my friend's house and she would my best friend she would help me like sew all of my numbers onto all of my socks my underwear every single piece of clothing that I would have to get washed um my number was 146 so that was the only sewing experience that I've had I don't I've never taken a class before and um so it was all self-taught even with the quilting with um, making a quilt I completely taught myself how to do all that and it was so much fun and I'm loving it so yeah that's what I've been up to this summer I've been really into all of the other um, projects I want to make um, the next thing that I want to make on my sewing machine is um, a pair of moccasins so yeah I want to make I want to make, I want to make moccasins a little tote bag um, maybe a skirt, maybe a dress, an apron, you know, stuff like that. So, um, I mean, I made a quilt. I made two quilts and I love it. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm addicted to sewing. Yeah, that is um, what I've been up to. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer, you guys. Let me know what you guys are up to. Are you guys watching Big Brother? It's crazy. Um, yeah, so... Um, I hope you guys are having a great summer. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.